Hi there, and welcome to She Spice. Entertainer and joke artist Terry Crews, as of late, sat with Club Shay Shannon Sharp to examine his life reasoning and objectives. At the same time, he spilled some hot tea about what everyone hates. Chris co-star Tanzana Arnold, however, the non-essential star, saved a few words of recognition for the entertainer. A couple of things he purportedly said provided the web with a sneak peek of what the previous young entertainer has been going through in the past 10 years. We as a whole envision the entertainer as carrying on with an existence of extravagance. Having been she has been at the center of attention since she was eight years old. Yet her life is, unfortunately, everything except a walk in the park. Terry Team's piece has caused a serious ruckus, and by bringing to the fore the well-established conversation of the abuse of people of color in Hollywood, what subtleties did the previous NFL star uncover about Tajina? Arnold's life and what illustrations might the more youthful age at any point gain from it? Tachina Arnold has been around the block since the 1980s, showing up for the most part in sitcoms and comedies, yet she has a couple of loathsome shows added to her repertoire. She has featured in significant creations that have generated their own faction following, including Martin and Everyone Despises Chris. Considering how much cash most entertainers get for a solitary film or television series. I'm seeing Brad Pitt and Keanu Reeves. It is not difficult to believe that T is living enormously, yet the fact of the matter is farther away. The entertainer is only one of the various people of color who are abused and come up short in Hollywood. A fast Google search uncovered that the entertainer who went through practically the entirety of her time on Earth before the cameras merited a paltry $2 million later north of 30 decades in Hollywood agreement that with Nicole Kidman's $15 million for featuring in 2003's conflicting sentiment film Cold Mountain and you'll comprehend the immense compensation difference anyway that is only the least of the entertainer's inconveniences as purportedly uncovered by Terry Crews at first Terry Garrant. Eat that Tashina massively affected his film vocation when he started acting in the mid-90s as per the activity star he found it hard to remember and convey his lines when he played Julius Chris Rock's dad, and everyone detests Chris Trenyway. Tejina went along and assisted him with retaining his lines, such that he at no point ever failed to remember them in the future. Arnold, she'd be staying there, and I was like, man, these lines are hard to become familiar with. I'm attempting to gain proficiency with these lines. She said Terry sang them. I expressed it out loud, whatever you are discussing. She said to sing your lines without Tin's assistance. He could not have possibly known how to explore his lines without breaking character and, in this way, deferring creation. However, Terry Crews waxed melodiously about his co-star word on the road, proposing that he offered unpretentious clues that showed the everyday routine tea China is experiencing now after everyone loathes Christ. Terry Crews proceeded to star in hugely expensive films, which he was appreciative of. However, many fans began to stress over Tachina. It was clear that the entertainer had neglected to stir things up around town, which she guaranteed contrasted with Terry. However, she featured in a great deal of motion pictures since she burst onto the scene. A large number of them are low budget and don't have global allure, contrasted with the ones highlighting Terry, which isn't completely her shortcoming. Hollywood has a background marked by being short on people of color. Investigate the existence of people of color who assumed critical roles in the set of experiences and making of Hollywood, and you'll see wretchedness and hardship. A considerable number of them left the world as paupers, but they did their absolute best for the business. Unfortunately, dark makers in the film business are towing the very line that their transcendently white makers towed, individuals like Tyler Perry and O. Winfrey have been blamed for renouncing individuals of color who have worked with them. A few fans find it stunning given that these are ethnic minorities who ought to be in the best position to comprehend individuals of color. These men have seen the battles of people of color and the obstacles they needed to defeat to rival different ladies of various races, yet these makers supposedly exploit people of color to advance their works, and that has purportedly been the most despicable aspect of Shaw Arnold. She's worked extremely hard and has put in her time, yet she can't flaunt what her different partners have. Besides coming up short on Tachina, she has needed to fight Hollywood's well-established prejudice. Hollywood has had a background marked by consigning or generalizing people of color in its films. It's possible they are playing an old, profane, large-boned weed smoking mom, giving a thumping to everyone or a hard-looking slave available, no matter what to their lord. Some of the time, 
They are made to play characters that need to battle through issues made by society, like single parents and spouses with oppressive accomplice moms with insane children and so forth. People of color scarcely landed lead jobs, regardless of whether they just needed to endure, and D. That was the issue of Tahina experiencing childhood in Hollywood. The entertainer made sense of the fact that she realized she was missing out on specific positions in view of her skin tone anyway. She just managed it since there was nothing she could do about it. In a meeting with uncensored people on YouTube, the entertainer deplored, I recollect in a real sense, realizing I was missing out on specific positions in view of my coloring and it was simply something that you realize you just managed it. Roll it away from you and keep it moving. She made sense of the fact that it got so terrible to the degree that there were no dark stylists or ensemble ears. Subsequently, she needed to battle to finish her hair the correct way. I generally had that thing, all right? She doesn't have wavy hair. You know, could you at any point accomplish something with your hair? She proceeded with the fact that many individuals in the cosmetics and hair industry were all white, and I needed to embrace white individuals since they didn't have any idea how to do dark hair. So I, in a real sense, needed to set up a perm for my mother not to go crazy about someone giving me. Ball spots. Unfortunately, Tetchina feels that prejudice isn't disappearing soon anyway. She believes that individuals like her can prompt a required change to make everything fair for all entertainers, no matter what their experience is. She trusts that she and her associates can become problem solvers to dispel the dim shadows that bigotry can bring and to focus the illumination of solidarity, love, and thoughtfulness. Prejudice isn't disappearing, however. What has been worked up in America is sad, and I simply supplicate that we truly do traverse it and that we have similar individuals like us that can be a channel for change and a course for generosity. Be a conductor, for seeing each other she additionally made sense of that Hollywood requirements for recount more dark stories to enable the African-American population, and this can possibly be done when more dark makers come on board to enable and extend the upsides of the African-American. Population as per her blacks should have been in influential places in Hollywood to change the story we really want to possess our substance and be a piece of the substance. She makes sense of where are the dates. Arc essayists in the room, we want them in the room. I've been on all dark shows, where there isn't isn't one dark writer that is where it begins, we should be in, influential places, and where we're essential for the innovative approach in the event that we're not in that room, it will be exactly that. Same thing once more, that is the reason it's very essential to have individuals like Shonda Rhimes and Ava Duver and Ali Lai, we should be in, influential places to effectively and really make changes that we need to see you must go do. It's not coming to you, Tatina, identified with dark entertainers who hadn't had work in some time since she'd been in their shoes before. She described a period in her life when work wasn't coming as it ought to, and running the home turned out to be very troublesome as she battled to earn barely enough to get by. That was the point at which she concocted the splendid thought of maintaining her side. Business planning and selling headgear, otherwise called handkerchiefs in 1998 now, for the gents who may be thinking planning headgear, as a weak business mind, you handkerchiefs were the ish during the 9S practically generally dark music hip hop recordings, highlighted them. And they sold like sweltering cake available. It was normal for young men and a young ladies in the hood to detect a bandan on a blistering bright evening while at the same time cruising around the local it even turned into a design. Proclamation inseparable from dark neighborhoods for certain dark big names Spotting it at true occasions, no doubt Tachina picked an extraordinary business idea that could rein in money to showcase the item. A portion of her persuasive superstar companions, including Janet Jackson, Viva, a fox, Regina Lord, and Christina Aguilera, sold the item. She even gave it a snappy name. China Moon clothes to get on with both the boomers and the recent college grads who were in their grown-up and young separately anyway. Six years subsequent to sending off the fashioner headgear creation, she stopped when she brought forth her girl, Elijah Kai, with her previous heartbreaker, Carvin Haggins. The relationship with the award-winning musician didn't endure, as Tina would have trusted passing on her as a single parent to really focus on her girl. Many reasons were given for this. China Moon clothes collapsed for certain fans, indicating that it has essentially become undesirable for her clients. Having gone through this large number of difficulties and obstacles, Tahina is in the best position to prompt both forthcoming and laid out dark entertainers about being patient when work isn't simply coming. As per her entertainers, they ought not be irate when work isn't coming, 
Rather, they ought to do a careful contemplation to check whether they are the draftsmen of their own defeat. She said you get a ton of entertainers who are not working. Subscribe SheSpice for more video.